Hi everyone, it's Jake. I hope you're doing well. I've got another great art challenge for you. If you're like me, you've probably watched quite a few films during the pandemic. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to learn about composition, colour theory and storytelling from the cinematographers and other great artists that make the films we love. The challenge is to paint a scene from one of your favourite films. You can use whatever painting medium you like. For the reference, you can pause the film you're watching, take a screenshot if you're on the PC, or there are great archives of high definition film stills on the web, such as Screen Musings, Screen Movie Caps and Film Grab. They're a great resource sharing the best that cinema has to offer. I'll put the links in the description. I can't wait to see the films and the scenes that you choose. So get painting and share your work with the hashtag Jake's Art Club. I chose a scene from my all time favorite, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Let's see how it got on. That's right. It's time for a Jake's Art Club. I hope you're ready. So here's the scene. The Fellowship are climbing the Red Horn Pass of Caradhras. Frodo stumbles and drops the ring. And we get a sense of the power that the ring has over men. It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Such a little thing. Boromir! Give the ring to Frodo. As you wish. I care not. <laughs> the film is full of hundreds of great scenes to choose from, each a painting in their own right. But today, I've chosen Boromir contemplating the ring. I'm going to use gouache and this little moleskin watercolour sketchbook. I'll put the links to all my materials in the description. I start by putting down some washes over my sketch to cover the white of the paper and establish where my light and dark tones are going to be. I'm not too worried about getting the exact colours at first, but I keep in mind that some of this first layer will end up peeking through and harmonising with the layers on top. This is especially true for the warmth of the face. Notice I've masked off my page to match the wide aspect ratio of the film. Now I block in the sky with some opaque paint. You'll notice that I go back over this later, as it was a bit too bright and saturated. The scene has a fairly muted and bluish colour grading to enhance the remote feeling and coolness of the mountains. Filmmakers often use limited colour palettes to help convey an emotion and enhance the story. Keep an eye out for this as you select your own scene to paint from. Now I come in with some darks for the face and the cloak. It might look like it, but I'm not using pure black. In most colours, I'm adding in some blue to match the cool scene. One of my favourite art teachers at school said, if you're ever lost with a painting, go back in and re-establish your darks, as this is a great opportunity to fix any mistakes in your drawing. Here I'm muting down the sky colour and battling with getting the right tone for the mountains in the background. When you're painting a study like this, try not to be too... Precious. Precious? It's been called that before. Remember you're the boss of your painting and you can paint over any area to fix it. I wanted to make sure the ring was the focus of the scene. So I've amplified contrast in that area. With gouache, it's fairly difficult to soften edges. So I used a bit of dry brush and mixed in between colors in the areas that deserve less of the viewer's attention. Here I'm adding some details and shadows. 
fixing that mountain for the final time, and finally adding a few highlights and transitions to the face. It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Such a little thing. So there we have it. That's my scene from The Fellowship of the Ring. It was a lot of fun. I think I could have definitely captured more of that bluish green color grading, uh, but I'm happy with it as a study nonetheless. Before I go, I want to share a couple of fun facts about this scene and what the film means to me. To achieve this close-up shot, the props department had to make an oversized ring and chain. Also, Sean Bean, the actor that plays Boromir, had a fear of flying and often had to climb up the mountains by foot to the location where they were filming. In full costume, too. They used to see me from the helicopter, you know, and I was sweating at the end. It was like a real adventure getting over the, that sort of mountain to get to the set, but I did, you know, I, I preferred doing it that way. The Lord of the Rings came out in 2001, so I must have been about eight years old when I saw it for the first time, and it really did have a profound effect on me. John Howie and Alan Lee, the concept designers for the film, are a big reason why I got into art. I had this fantastic The Art Of book. Its illustrations and concept art helped to bring Middle Earth to life. It gave me a massive appreciation to the design direction that films and TV require. So have fun painting a scene from one of your favourite films. Don't forget to share your results and let me know why that film's special to you too. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for the support. Keep painting and I'll see you soon.